So I'm doing a valve cover on a Dodge Charger 2.7 liter engine. I already started. I should have made it from the beginning. But uh, you disconnect, you know, you take out the air box. It's not hard to do. You got a 10 millimeter bolt there, which is bolted here. Real easy. Then you take off the tube and then you got your throttle body. Take the four bolts off, unclip all the connectors, unclip all the connectors to the coil packs, undo the injector connectors, move all that out the way. Boom, it's way out the way. Undo your uh, vacuum hose, your PCV hose here that goes from here, it loops around and it goes all the way under here and it connects to your box there, right there. Undo that, see I've got it taken off here and now we're here. You know, I've got all the, they've got like little connectors for these wires. I got all them off and now we're good to go. I started taking these bolts out of the coil pack and then I was like, well, let me record this. Super easy job, not a hard job. Good time to inspect uh, anything, but we're doing a valve cover gasket here, so I'm not worried about it. Um, all right, so now it's pretty straightforward. It's a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna need a deep for most of these. Look, all the way around, it's pretty simple, you know. So let me uh, set it up in a good recording position so I can get it set here. You can see pretty well. Just going to take all the bolts out. For some, if you're using an impact or even a ratchet, you may want to get an extension, which is what I'm gonna do. This is what I do for a living. I'm mobile, so I carry everything in the back of my car. Uh, let me find an extension here. Gonna keep that. There's one. Customers find me on like hip pages, like hip uh, Nashville, hip whatever. Take this off. Put that on and this here. And now we can go for these lower bolts here. Okay, so set that aside. Just remember where it goes. And I think I got all of them. There isn't one over there. Okay. Pretty, pretty sure I got all of them. Now, this is when you gotta force it up. Let me set you down. hard I've got a flathead here I can probably pry up on make sure you get a lot of the debris out so nothing falls down into the engine There she goes, there she goes, okay. She's stuck down there, let me make sure all the bolts are loose. Got her off. 
gonna set her upside down this is where we were leaking at right there you can see it was coming out right here it's leaking onto the exhaust all the brown spot there and uh up here seemed pretty good but obviously it's the oil is it's at a slope so the oil's draining that way uh chains look good timing chains look good cam chain looks good all right let me uh i'm doing this on my phone so you got to bear with me pretty simple the guy left the gaskets in the car here see what we got all right he got an air filter he got a valve cover gasket and the keys cool so let's open this up set you down there you guys get the gist it's pretty simple pretty simple Just opening this up not gonna do uh, I don't think I need to do his tube seals oh yes I do let me show you so right here on the tube one seal was left okay we got to break that off the others were taken so we're gonna do the tube seals as well see this one was taken that one was left that one was left this one comes out it's real simple some can be a little trickier sometimes you got to get a flathead skinny flathead you don't want to damage the valve cover though so that's that let me get this off you want to make sure you make a clean surface as well yeah this one's pretty stuck on there so that's the valve cover and the tube seal magnum gaskets i guess he got it from amazon i don't care where he gets his parts All right, so you guys get the gist, so I'll see you later.